Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming. Today, I felt like playing some Fire Bunnies, so I'm going to update the Cinderace for Vivid Voltage. The Cinderace that we're looking at is the Cinderace that I'm pretty sure came out with the original Sword and Shield release, uh, which has this Flare Striker attack. For 3 energy, 2 fire, 1 colourless, it does 190 damage, which would be completely horrendous to try and get up and going on a Stage 2 Pokemon if it wasn't for the Liberu ability, where once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to your active spot, you may attach two Fire Energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. And it has a retreat cost of one energy, which is really, really important to note because it allows us to use things like our Recycle Energy to be able to just, you know, retreat to a different Cinderace and just reattach this Recycle Energy plus two Fires from your discard pile to attack with another Cinderace. Plus, it works really well with the U-turn board as well. Now, the thing that is really new probably about this deck since I last played it is the Jirachi that's just been released with the Dreamy Revelation ability, where once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your active uh, in your active spot, you may look up to two cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand, put the other on top of your deck, which is something I'm still getting used to, the fact that it goes on top of your deck rather than shuffling your deck. But the reason why this is really, really good in this deck is because you are constantly, um, you know, losing your Cinderaces and you need to be able to switch back into a Cinderace. So this acts like an awesome pivot Pokemon in this deck. So it allows you to get an extra card pool, um, you know, from the top two cards of your deck. And the fact that, the, that it doesn't go to sleep or anything like that, like the other Jirachi, allows us just to use U-turn board just to be able to pivot nicely out of that Pokemon. Now, the rest of this deck is just being about as like getting the Cinderaces up online as quickly as possible and being able to rinse and repeat. So um, we do have a couple of two prize Pokemon here that we will use if we have to. We're probably not trying to put these down if we can avoid it because we're trying to be a one prize card deck as much as possible. But Dede and Oracorio to be as consistent as possible. We're maxing Pokemon search here. So we've got four Quick Ball, four Great Ball, uh, three Comms, two Evo Incense. This is just to be able to go and rinse and repeat with these Cinderaces. Um, so we're running Ordinary Rods as well to be able to replace them. Uh, we're running the 4-2 uh, four line of our Cinderace as well, just so we can try and be as consistent as possible because we are a two-shot deck where, for the most part, you know, the Flare Strike is hitting 190. That is good enough to, you know, be able to hit out a Dedenne or something like that that's sitting on the bench, hence the reason my boss's orders is here. But if we've got big three prize card Pokemon, we are a two-shot deck, so we need to be able to be as consistent as possible as we can. Um, we're running four money for research as our main draw supporters, but also a couple of roses because this is really, really nice to be able to go and fetch the pieces that we need. You know, a candy, a Pokemon, or even, you know, whatever we need to be able to continue attacking. So that's the deck list. I'm loving this deck. It's just a nice, fun deck to play. So let's get in the games. All right, so we get to go first. Got a colossal deck, which can become quite scary because of how much healing this thing can. I kind of don't want boss this early, really. I want them late. An extra card, alright. So fetched up the give. No fire engines yet. This is sad. I think we're going to run this. We'll get ourselves out a score bunny and dreamy revelation. Fire. That would have been better last time, not gonna lie. Score bunny down, score bunny down. NG attached to you. We've got Pokecoms coming. Which means that's completely useless to us unless we get a Pokemon. But even so, like. <laughs> We want a candy. That's what we want. I think we're probably running Evo to just a reboot. Put this one to a reboot. We don't even have the game. So.
Research, all right. I'm just worried about how tanky these things are going to be. And I, like, I need boss swords to be able to go and chase stuff. That's a reason I really don't want to bomb to you. Uh, we don't want this. Seems fine. Research. We could theoretically attack here, but that's getting rid of probably both ordinary rods, and I feel like I'm going to need them. So I don't think I'm attacking here. I just don't think I'm attacking. Uh, we'll leave Marnie at the top. This is better. So we're not going to quick ball this turn either. We'll just NG attach here, I reckon. I actually NG attach there. We'll put back. No, no, no. That's next turn. We need the Marnie. It was bad. Oh well. I'm just backing that he's not got the KO this turn, but he might. He probably. I'm gonna be pretty shocked if he doesn't. Right, I'm gonna get Marnied. At least I have a Marnie. I just couldn't afford to get rid of those, like both ordinary rods here. I want to NG attach this reboot. It's got the switch. Means he probably has the KO. He doesn't. Alright, so we get lucky there. We get very lucky there. So I think we NG attach here. We get rid of this. Go and get ourselves another score bunny. We want to avoid two prize card Pokemon down if we can. Want to Marnie up. Unfortunately, I have to reseize him, but you do what you can do. A great ball. Reboot. Revelation. I think I want research sitting here for next turn. We've got an NG there, the NG that I'll discard. Um, no, we don't want the research next turn. We really, 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 really don't. Because we don't want to lose our candies. We've NG attached, so I've got to grab this. We have to go into this guy, we've got no choice. Grab a couple of these. I mean, at the end of the day, we'll just flare strike up. I was just thinking ahead, we have to leave that research so we can get to it. We might just have to accept the fact that we're going to lose two candies out of this battle. Which means the 
evolutions to these reboots are going to be pretty key. Wow, I'm three-shotting now. Having said that, if he's having to two-shot me, that saves me a little bit. Because this only hits 130, so it's not a KO. Probably going to have to research and try and get another... I think we have to research here and try and get another... Um, Cinderace, that's the best plan of attack. Where are we attaching this? I guess to this guy? Oh, he's going to get one shot. This guy? Research. Got the Cinderace. Got the U-turn board if I want it. Uh, I think the U-turn board goes here. Cinderace here. I don't want him to be able to just KO this on the next turn easily. That's the thing. So ideally, I'd want another Cinderace off of this. Like a different, like, yeah, a candy Cinderace off of this. That would be the ideal circumstance. Would love to have pulled a switch as well, because that would have allowed me to attack with this Cinderace. I want a fully healed Cinderace, so that way you couldn't one-shot, but... That is what it is, can't help it. Can't help bad luck. Boss's orders is pretty important. I can't really research if I can avoid it. Because I'm going to need to be able to chase a prize. Hmm, I'm gonna pull this first, see what this gets. A Rosa, which is really, really, really good. Like I said, I want to attack with this guy if I can. I think we chuck a Reboot Cinderace back with this one. So, not Score Bunny in this case, Reboot Cinderace, and then the next one's gonna be Score Bunny Cinderace. Um, we Rosa. Pull in Cinderace. Pull in Candy. This is my only Candy left for the game, unless there's some in prize. I can't guarantee I'm going to get it. My only Candy left for the game. Ideally, want to keep Boss if we can. I don't know if I'm going to be that lucky. Uh, so we'll great ball here. We grab Jirachi and just put it back and get a reboot out of this. Are we going to this guy? I think we are, aren't we? Because we can energy attach and then there's two fires in here. I've just got to make sure everything's there. Yep. So energy attach here, we'll candy this up. To you. Um, we've already dreamy revelation, so we'll now run to you. Yep. All these. Put this back. My biggest concern is like 40 plus 90 is 130. Plus the if he has a stadium, he can still get me. But uh, I'm forcing him to have more doing it this way. I am forcing him to have more cards. So we'll go and get Reboot. I'm 
because I'm now forcing him to have to have the stadium. I kind of want the candy, but I kind of don't at the same time because I'm going to have to research soon. Yeah, that sucks. The Cinderace, so maybe I can play without, without it. The three shot. He has to one shot here. What he'd be looking for. Sonia. Okay. Does he have the stadium? That's the big question. If he has the stadium, we're going to be super sad. He has the stadium. I'm really going to have to take some thought about how I try and do this. He's going to have the next KO no matter what. Alright, so he doesn't have the stadium, so that's really good. He's going to have the KO no matter what in the next turn. So I run to this Cinderace on this particular play. We get this Cinderace up and going. We really, really, really do not want to do anything other than NG attach. We want to keep boss's orders in play right now. I think the boss is going to be so important. So we flare strike up. I mean, the 190 is pretty crucial too. He needs a strong NG or a heal. Uh, I stone NG, not strong NG. I know what I mean. Like what I'm anticipating is maybe a switch to this guy. We only seen a Sonya last turn. I don't know what kind of supporters he's got. Sonya only get um, basic, does it? Yeah, it's basic. Otherwise, we would have seen the Stone Engine there. But the fact that he now has to get this out of the active is really good for us. The fact that he missed a Stone Engine is really good for us. And he missed the KO, so we've got three attackers still on the board. He can take one out here, so that's fine, but we've got two attackers. He's got the switch, okay. We've got the boss sitting here. So at this stage, we still have game. Getting all the NG off. That suggests to me that... Well, the, the worst thing I could see now would be money. And I just say it. <laughs> oh, that's painful. That is so painful. All right, that was the worst case scenario. We could dead A, but we need to be able to. Hmm, he got the dojo. Because like a stone NG really hurts me as well. Really makes me pay. I've got to go to this Cinderace now, that's for sure. That could shuffle the deck. Because I'm a boss away from winning this game right now. I think I'll like the boss rather than the money play. But putting a dead eight out here. I need score bunny cinderace. I have one candy. So I have to do this. Look, at the end of the day, if he targets Dedene, at the end of the day, that means that he's not... That's shuffled the deck, hasn't it, yet? It means he's leaving me an attacker. It shortens the game, but I'm digging for boss. That's really my game-winning strategy at the minute. So we're going to grab... Nothing. I thought I had a reboot, but no, I don't. That's a bit sad. Sad. Have the U-turn ball because at least I can play it this turn.
Straight to you. We will, Marnie. Rather than research. No boss. We have a switch Jirachi pool to try and find that boss. I kind of don't want to reset it because I know the bottom of the deck is not boss's orders right now. We're getting rid of two fires, yeah, because we got the switch sitting in hand. Yeah, that's So, he has to get this out of the active. He is trailing in prize cards with the martial arts dojo in play. So an eruption shot will get me. If he can get a fighting NG on top of his deck. And he's got the Oranguru to make that happen. Not the bird keeper, that's a bit sad. Really wanting the boss's orders to end it there. I see the top three cards. I forget what my hand was. I forget what size my hand was. Okay, so he's got the KO. So he's going to put me under pressure. In the day, I Rosa on my next turn. And what I'm looking for is boss, my Cinderace. Yeah. Depends what size my hand was to whether or not the top of my deck is a boss. It is not a boss. I think we take this, so that way we force an extra card that he's going to have to have again. We're going to Rosa. Get the Cinderace, get the boss, get a Fire NG. Candy this up. NG down. We're going to retreat this guy. Just got to think about the stamp to one. Go and pull this out so we're stamp proofing us. Gotta be careful of the Marnie as well so I can't go any deeper than that. Flare Striker. Surely that's checkmate at this point. Surely that's checkmate. Gotta be checkmate. Because we got the Aura Courier to protect. We have the Aura, like the Aura Courier to protect. I suppose if he bosses, how's he taking out the Aura Courier? He's not. Not unless he can replace the stadium as well. If he replaced the stadium, he could. His best bet would be boss the Aura Courier. Be able to replace the top deck, replace the stadium, one-shot the Oricorio, and stamp me to one. That's a lot to ask for in one turn. So I don't think it's quite checkmate, but it's close. Tool Scrapper, I've got Switch plus... Oh, wow. Yeah, the Switch is actually... Oh, no, Tool Scrapper just puts this back in hand. But then he could stamp me. Yeah, this could be pretty crucial. He's just go back in hand. The moment he hasn't got it yet. Like, he also can't just sit with Jirachi. Gotta make some stuff happen. Like, he would have had to... I think what I did with that turn was he would have had to have the dream hand to have a go. Like, have a crack. So he's not bossing me, so Oricorio is sitting chilling as well. Unless he has like a great capture. He's got the stone energy, but the boss sitting here doesn't matter. I only need one prize card now. So 
Yeah, we've got game. That's all over Red Rover. So we just board here, retreat here, go and get a couple of cards. This NG attach, boss up to Rachi, and that's GG's. That was a good game. I enjoyed that. Good game. Good game. Awesome. Looks like we're up against ADP. I really hate the fact that they just brought this box out. Bring more ADP to the party. Is, you know, clearly ADP is a uh, popular Pokemon. Get the bunny down. I mean, Ordinary Rod's not going to be much use in this match, I wouldn't have thought. Possibly need the Dead A, that's the big problem. I'm probably making a mistake with doing this, but I kind of want to keep as single prize as possible if I can. These two. Back one to you. Dream Revolution. Uh, I'm gonna grab this. I feel like it could be important just to dead A change on the next hand. Because at the end of the day, he's three attacks from winning if he gets the ADP off. We should have, unless I get Marnie here, we should have a KO. Oh, not a KO necessarily, but we should be able to attack next turn. If Giant Hearth stays in, that is. And if it doesn't, we should still have a pretty good shot of getting there. It's just all about the Marnie. There's a Dead A change. You see a Metal Saucer hit the discard, that's not the end of the world. Radiant, I mean, that's still good enough for me. We haven't seen ADP come down yet. We've seen NG attachment here, haven't we? Yeah. So we're not getting the GX straight away. Intrepid with Zacian sitting in the active. That's huge. And an NG attachment. Fantastic. That is massive for us. So what we want to do here. What are we discarding? I think we just discard here because we can Viridian pull after. Yeah. That seems fine. Grab the dead A change. Candy up. The score bunny. We've got two fires in the discard. No, we don't. Crap. Hmm. Oh, we only need one in there as long as we get an energy attachment and a switch out. So yeah, we're just backing ourselves that we get that. We've got four switchable type cards. We got U-turn board. That's brilliant. So we're U-turning board to you, we get this to you. We're going to research out of this, aren't we? I think so. so. I think we get rid of Rosa. Grab a bunny. Bunny down. Research. Hmm. Creamy Revelation. I guess comms. We don't need two comms. We only need one at most. We do need the NG. So that NG has to attach. We've got one in the discards, so that's fine. Retreat to you. Pull that one in. One shot the Zacian. And if he doesn't hand disrupt me this time, we are laughing. <laughs> there we go. Enjoy your ADP deck. It's a decent starting hand if I can find a draw spotter out of this. 
The only concern is I actually don't have NGs at the moment either. So concerning. A couple of score bunnies, plenty of Pokemon search, so that's really good. Uh, we could dead a change the hand if I really wanted to, I guess. Uh, we'll just grab this guy. Great ball, whiff on that. Uh, I think we'll Dreamy Revolution, Revelation, whatever it's called. Um, we've got Candy, but this is possibly keeping the Quick Ball for next turn to be able to dead a change. I think that's going to be a really important play. Problem is, we're, unless I get really lucky, we're probably not getting much in the way of an attack on turn two. We're looking turn three at the best. Hmm, is this a choo choo type deck? i put the bunny in the active, couple of dead A's on the field. Bolton down, Pikachu down. Road ready. Problem is we can't one shot these Boltons. There's a problem. Hmm. What do we want to do? We'll candy up you. Win. All you to a reboot. We've got to hope that Dead A's in here to be able to change out. Oh, so I doubt I'm attacking this turn. Yeah, we're not attacking this. Turn. It's just nice. Want to run the switch play? I think we do. We'll great ball here. We'll lift that. Switch. Bring revolution. I guess we grab score bunny for now. So we've got that down. Uh, we'll like a recycle to you. Um, not a great spot. I actually think I'm just going to hold for a minute. We still need another energy. That's what I'm really worried about. This is probably going down here. Which means that I probably need to, or a Creo pull. That's going to be my next best pull. I've just whiffed all my supporters to begin the game. Interesting to see if this is an electrifier or a bolt storm. I'm assuming we'll see bolt storm. That's my anticipation here, is it'll be a bolt storm. There's an extra energy card. Which means I am actually not. Nah, I'm not guaranteed attacking here yet. I need a switch off of it as well. My best hope is Oricorio to save me. Alright, we have the attack. I think we throw a candy away here. As bad as that feels. And a boss. Or do we Marnie and really take a chance? We have to, we have to research. Hmm. So, retreat, that puts two fires in the discard, that's what we need, good. Retreat to you. Grab these two. We'll candy you up at the moment. Don't want to get fires out this turn, probably not. We'll just flare striker. Get in the 190 that we need. Keep in mind we only need to hit another 10. It might not be worth using the Cinderace here. Might even be just a retreat to this reboot. It kind of seems a waste at the same time as well. Cape of Toughness, all right, so we do need a Cinderace. In the day, this is potentially losing three prize cards. 
6, 9, 12, 13, so it's not getting a KO yet. Needs another Electrode. It's giving me two free prize cards. It seems a bit risky. I actually thought this was going to be a... Um, is this like a PG VMAX deck? I don't know. I don't know. And a poker kid. Get the trode. Well, he has to trode here to get the KO. The key is, he trodes to get the KO. I take the voltage trade back. Oh, he's not going to trode to get the KO. Interesting move. Not sure why he did that. Excuse me. Uh, what are we doing here? I mean, we're retreating. I don't think we want to... I think we just go score bunny down just a minute. Uh, we don't want to use the ordinary rod at the moment. I do think we want to continue digging the deck a little bit. So Marnie here. Put him back to four as well. Uh, we get the board. We kind of don't want to use the board here, so that's fine. Uh, what we'll do is get rid of this guy. Oh, he could act as a good pivot, but minute run the old retreat to this cinderace get rid of that grab a couple of fires back this to you for the moment i reckon we'll discard just to thin a little bit grab this guy that seems fine and then we'll flare striker discard these two I really don't know what his game plan was beyond this. Why didn't he use the Voltorb in the last turn? That's a handy pull actually. A real handy pull. So is that. That's that's a couple of good pulls, because that's just a Cinderace and a reboot down. We're good, we're laughing. We have three prizes now that we need. Maybe not. If he does use the trode here, which he's going to. It does mean that we're two prize cards away. He has to find the Pikachu V Max. Wow, four Denes in this deck. Four Denes in this deck. So we are a boss's orders away. We've only got one left in decks. So that's again pretty slim. Having said that, nice hit into this. Uh, Pikachu seems pretty good to me. What's sad is without discarding all the energy from this, it doesn't get the KO. Like, how bad is this Pikachu VMAX? That is terrible. You have to stamp me to two now. Have to stamp me to two to have any chance. And even then, like, a stamp to two, I'm attacking next turn. We're, like, we're chilling. We've got Oracorio to get a pull. And it gives me a chance of just getting that boss. Like, Pikachu VMAX is just terrible. 120 base. Like, this needs to be a 180 base that does like an extra 70. Be even better. Wow, so to be able to get a KO, he's had to burn a boss. Alright. Mm, it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, you up. So, what we're doing here? I'm just looking at the cards that I've got. Grabbed your Archie because we'll thin it out. Ideally, I want to just end it right here if I can. Don't know if that's going to be possible, but I'd love to end it right here if we could. Oracorio is my only hope of that happening. See if we can thin anything out. We can't. We can get an energy. Is the boss even in here? Yes, it is. So I think we will just quickly thin this. Oh, wait. I wanted to put that down. You're an idiot. Um... Or a Corio pole. That was a misplay. I feel like I'm chilling that far in front right now. Yeah, it's all over. It is actually all over. 
So switch to you. The couple of energies. Doesn't really matter. Boss up this to Dene. And Flare Striker. And that is the reason why, like, Pikachu VMAX is just terrible. It really is. And that brings us to the end of the video. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And if there is a deck that you want me to check out in a future video, be sure to let me know in the comments below. But that's it for me for now. Until next time, I'll catch you later.